Capricorn, let's see your next major relationship. What is this person like? The person for your next major relationship, Capricorn. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Specifically, uh, this person here could be someone who's overcome lots of battles. This person could be pushing through a lot of obstacles at the time that you meet them. Very similar to Cancer, what I'm getting here. But this is someone who's learning from their past failures. This is someone who's um, letting go of the past. They could have strong, healthy boundaries because of what they've gone through. Okay, so this person could be a little tired from what they've gone through. Um, they're pushing towards success, though. This person here is very self-motivated, okay? Um, tell me more about this person for Capricorn's next major relationship. Yeah, the world card. This person is closing out some cycle in their life, and they're going towards success. This person could be uh, at a distance, or there's something about travel here as well. This person could could be completing some type of... Um, like I said, closing out cycles or experiencing some type of success in their life. They could be healing from something and being made whole. Yeah, they could have gone through something where they may have been betrayed or they had to walk away from something, you know, from someone who may have been, you know, very negative towards them or try to sabotage something in their life. All right. Um, how are you going to meet this person? How is Capricorn going to meet this person? Oh, a lot of cards came out, but the Empress fell out on top. Seven of Cups, Two of Swords with the King of Wands. Where, however you're going to meet this person, I don't know. They must may really get your attention because somebody is very attractive. Someone is very, um, could be very talkative, very free-spirited. Somebody is very motivated to, you know, to do things in their life. Uh, the King of Wands and the Empress coming out here, uh, this could be two people that are, you know, going after their goals. One person, maybe, there may be an age difference. I don't know why this Empress is giving me someone a little older or more mature than the King of Wands, um, but taking how it resonates. I don't know. I'm just feeling that. Um, but the Empress is someone who is very beautiful. That's divine feminine energy, very passionate. So somebody could be, um, could meet someone maybe during travel or when they are like working on some new plans or something and indecisive about their next move, you, you meet this person. So I don't know if there is travel involved in it or what. Um, this is telling me more about the circumstance. I want to know how some of you are going to meet this person. Uh, nine of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I'm not clear on how you're going to meet this person and, and maybe that's not. The importance, I don't know if this person is even in your life already or not, but the nine of cups in the reverse is somebody who has shattered dreams and, as, and aspirations. Someone who could be very unhappy with the way something has come out. Maybe they are struggling to accomplish something at the time. Um, that could be you or this person. Because like I said, somebody's pushing through obstacles, overcoming battles, but it's like they're winning. At the time that you may meet this person, Capricorn, they're dissatisfied with the current situation, but they are pushing through it. Okay, let's see your first impression of this person. Page of Wands. Like I said, there could be an age difference here. Or you may see this person as someone who's very inspiring, a very fresh, enthusiastic person. Um, this person could make you feel like, you know, they come with good news, positivity, a very childlike energy, very free-spirited, fun to be around. Um, this is also giving me someone who's very optimistic, okay? And very and very creative okay so i like that how are they going to affect your life your next major relationship how are they going to affect your life capricorn because you do see this person as very inspirational very new vibrant energy here and they affect your life with the two of cups this is a partnership this is a union this is solidarity love okay balance as well okay so this is required love here this is how it affects your life, all right? What kind of relationship is this going to be for Capricorn? The death card, Scorpio energy, okay? This is a, about a spiritual transformation and new beginning, okay? This is about letting go of the past and embracing change and a new, you know, something new and maybe even unexpected for you, all right? This could also be um, change of environment, change of situation. So 
this relationship here, your next major is going to bring about endings in both of your lives, but this is to, to bring balance into your, your, your life. So there are some things that are going to be ending here. Uh, world card, death card. This could involve your single days, you know, single days being over. What's going to be ending here with this death card? But I feel like it's more about spiritual transformation, new beginning here. Uh, Ace of Wands, there's going to be an end to looking for passion, looking, you know, yeah, Ace of Wands in the upright. This is a new beginning. This is good news, okay? Someone could have strong uh, fire placements or there's a lot of passion in this connection, Capricorn. It's like um, you guys could actually be um, working on business opportunities. This is about your talent, your growth here. Um, a lot of potential in this relationship to to grow, to expand, and I'm I'm getting business for some reason. What's the obstacle here for this relationship for Capricorn's next major relationship? What's the obstacle here? The Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. Why why is the Queen of Pentacles the obstacle here? Six of Swords, somebody moving on from a Queen of Pentacles, somebody moving on to calmer waters. Maybe this is about you trusting the process here, Capricorn, or somebody is dev could be, you know, being led to move away from another situation. Um, This is about, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is about independence, financial wealth and luxury here. Going on to stability. Something about stability here. Why is that the obstacle though? This this could involve travel. Maybe there's relocation. I did say that. There could be an ending here. The devil. So somebody could at the time be kind of stuck in a certain mindset or something. The devil coming out here. This is someone who... Could feel bound to a situation, a location, a certain mindset. I'm also getting Capricorn. Maybe this is involving money or work. Okay. Hopefully there's not a situation where somebody's gotten got secrets here. What's the devil coming out here? Somebody could be moving away from an obsessive person from their past. The Queen of Wands. Nah. Um, the obstacle here is that someone could be could become very obsessed with another person. Maybe there's an obsession here with your person may become very obsessed with you. Or there's another person that's obsessed with this person or obsessed with you. But we've got two queens out here and the devil and moving on like somebody's trying to move on. What's going to be the outcome of this situation? Because it looks like some there is a challenge here. And I don't know... If somebody has an addiction or somebody, mm, no, man, somebody, three of swords, yeah, um, Capricorn, uh, your next major relationship, I don't know if, if it's going to really work out. Three of swords is heartbreak or betrayal. With the devil here, something is re may require a separation. I'm looking at the eight of cups here. There are two queens and the devil here. Something is very karmic. There's a karmic connection that has to come to an end. So, for some of you, I don't know if this is something that you're experiencing right now. But there's the heartbreak, disappointment, or separation here. And, and a lot of confusion because there's a, there's a karmic situation. What will you learn here? I mean, I saw potential in here, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing interference. I don't know who, who the person is though. The Knight of Pentacles, what you're learning in the Knight of Pentacles is for you to, you know, take it slow is what I'm getting. Be protective of your energy. Um, at the same time, this is about putting in effort, finishing what you started. This, the Knight of Pentacles is slow, but steady. Okay. Looking at a situation from a, a practical approach, maybe, um, looking at the evidence of something more clear, maybe not being so quick. But let me clarify, what is it that Capricorn learns here? Two of Pentacles. 
about keeping balance, finding balance in a situation here, going through the ups and downs, being very patient. Because what's, what's going to be the outcome? Is this going to lead to marriage or what? No, you have the five of cups. You got loss, grief, despair. This may be a lesson for you. Guilt, ab abandonment, emotional instability. No. No. What comes in afterwards for Capricorn? I don't know about this. Because see, somebody was already going through something. A king of pentacles. Okay, there we go. Now we got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So I'm going to say this, uh, Capricorn. You go through some period of loss, disappointment here in this next major relationship. But then there's a king of pentacles. Okay? And the queen of pentacles is already out here. So I feel like either you and someone here go through a period of loss, um, grief, or something happens here in a situation. And it either, either you patiently work through this and this person and you become something more serious, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, or you chuck up the deuces in this situation and that's when you meet a King of Pentacles, okay? So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. You guys, uh, let me know if this um, resonates. Maybe you don't even know if it resonates yet, but let me know. Um, hit the like button. Don't forget to... Um, share follow all of that all of that <laughs> thank you guys and i'll see you on the next one